and the display should go dead on that. And we're going to focus on this wire here, 12 pin harness, 6 on this side, 6 on this side, each pin is color coordinated per line. First, what I always have to do is the incline. And one, two, three. Those are the raises. Now we're going to do the speed portion. We're going to locate pin one again. Pins one and four. Open the relay for the current for the motor. So we're going to activate one and four, and once you activate one and four, you should hear a relay click. Like that. Make sure you have a good connection. You don't want those two wires to fall out and just kind of set them off to the side. This is where we're going to use our second twist tie, which is why we need two. And we're going to try to speed the belt up, so we're going to use pins seven and five. We're going to attach pin five, have a positive connection on all three, one, two, three, and our opened end, we're going to tap on pin seven, which is the first slotted directly across from one. Each time you tap the pin, it's point one mile per hour speed increase, so if we tap it ten times, we should be at one mile an hour. And as I tap this, the more times you tap it, the faster the belt will get. So what we're doing is testing the commands of the harness, making sure all the channels are good, and also the drive motor and controller, everything down below is working properly and we can achieve belt speed. And then that also works in reverse. This belt will continue running until we take the ground out. So we would want to use pins 7 and 6 to slow the machine down. So we're going to put one end in 6. And we'll go back to seven, and we will slow the belt down. Same principle. Each tap on the pin is 0.1 mile per hour speed decrease. Then you should be able to slow it down enough to actually stop the belt. Stop. And that's it. One and four, seven and five will speed up, seven and six will slow the belt down. And you pull them out one twist tie at a time. And at that point, we can hook our harnesses back up. We've done no damage, and we have our display lit back up. And at that point, we have a good diagnosis as to what is going on with the equipment.